The question we've all been asking, are you indeed ready for some football? Well, yours truly, Thrills Alexander, is here as one of your co commissioners to go ahead and break down some of the key lead details for this year. So let's get started. First off, we are no longer Jason Witten Broadcast. We are now Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. And every team name should reflect a condiment of some kind, as was voted on in the league slack board. Everybody should be a condiment of some kind. Some of you are super thrilled about that. Some of you, not as much. Some of you wanted to go to porn star names. I know you did. Now, speaking of looking at the slack board, I will send out one text message today to give you this video. After that, we will not correspond via text messages. We will only use the Slack message board. Nobody wants their phone blowing up 48 times a day with text messages. And the last thing we want to do is silence said group text and miss the messages. So please, if you are not on Slack, you do not have Slack downloaded yet, get it downloaded. Make for sure you're using that platform to talk with the group mates. It doesn't matter if it's about trades, if it's about the team. Sundays, our phones, we should be on Slack, looking at it, talking shit, and just overall having some really great camaraderie amongst each other as we ride each other's tails about who sucks and who's great. So once again, get on Slack. If you need help getting Slack, that is a Brian James Green question. He is the Slack guru of this league. All right, my job is more set on keeping him balanced when it comes to the scoring settings of the league. Now, speaking more of the league and it comes to scoring settings, there have been some alterations to things. Let's talk about those for a minute. Number one, we have gotten rid of those insane quarterback bonuses. You're not going to get five points for throwing over 200 yards like we had last year. You will get one bonus this year at 400 yards, and it will be a three-point bonus. We tried to put bonuses in for touchdown throws. That was not an option that Yahoo allowed. So from now on, you will get points based solely upon quarterback yardage at that 400 yard bonus but we have bumped it down it is now 20 points per point 20 yards per point excuse me with no bonuses so instead of 100 yards equaling four points 100 yards now equals five points all right our receivers we've all and running backs and tight ends we've also dropped those bonuses down to the three two two level so you'll get a three bonus points at 100 yards two at 150 and two more at 175 all right defenses let's talk about defense now defenses have been kicked up just a little bit last year if you threw a shutout with the defense you got 10 points well in the ultra mega scoring nfl nowadays if you throw if you're throwing defense out there that's getting a shutout you deserve some points this year it has been bumped up from 10 points to 15 points i'm gonna try to add some emphasis to defense in this league to try to balance some things out so a shutout is 15 one to six points was eight last year now you're going to get 10 points and everything else has stayed pretty stagnant right there you will also earn one additional point if you have a fourth down stop that has been the only change you'll still get a six points if your defense scores a touchdown and none of the other points have changed from last year um kickers kickers have changed a little bit we will now instead of a 49 yard field goal being equivalent to a 40-yard field goal in four points. We're now going to be using fractional points. So a 49-yard field goal is worth 4.9 points. A 37-yard field goal is worth 3.7 points. Missed field goals, they are still going to count against you, though. If you miss a shorty, it's two points off. If you miss a 20 to 29-yarder, it's only one point off. All right, so that's our kickers right there. Kickers, once again, I want to try to add some value, give them some, some love right there. I didn't find it fair. A 49-yard field goal is four points. One yard back is another whole point. Doesn't make any sense to me. We need to grade them just like we grade the receivers, running backs, tight ends, and quarterbacks, give them their fractional points. Um, the league dues this year will be $50. Once again, just like last year, will $45 will be donated to the overall pot of the league the other five dollars per person that will be our bi-weekly challenges that we have going on throughout the year we'll have six uh, uh, excuse me we will have six of those throughout the year ten dollars per and we will start those on week four we'll start those weekly challenges at week four we'll have them on the even weeks right there all right so if you win one of those you'll get an additional ten dollars sent to you if you want to go ahead and pay me the money you can send it to venmo to me at will-mick-alexander. 
not Alexander, unfortunately. Venmo messed it up, Ben. So it's actually Will Dash Mick Alexander for some reason. And if you choose to use PayPal, you're going to send it to bgreengolf at yahoo.com. Brian James Green will handle the PayPal payments. I will handle the Venmo. If you're old school and you want to do cash, if people still actually have cash, my address is 6627 Forestdale Lane. If you mail it to me, I'm going to tell you I didn't get it and just pocket your money. So please hand deliver it to me and don't mail it to me. Um, the overall prize winnings, the totals will be breaking down as such. It will be $540 total in the pot for the whole season. $450 is going to go to the Super Bowl champion. $50 will go to the regular season champion. And then $40 will go to the highest scoring team of the year. So once again, it is possible to rack in all 540 of those dollars by just having the Super Bowl winning, highest scoring, best team right there. You can take every single dollar and put it right in your pocket. The draft night is tentatively scheduled for a Friday night, August 27th at 7 p.m. That is right now. I will put a poll up on the Slack board in case somebody feels obligated to say, hey, you know, Thrills, I can't make that day. Multiple people say they can't make it. You know, we want to have as much group participation as we can, whether we're doing a Zoom call, in-person draft, or a conglomeration of the two. I know me, Cody, and B Green were together last year, and everybody else was doing a video um, Zoom call, and it was one of the best drafts we've had in a long time, so I highly recommend that. Um, overall, right now, the league is set up and running. It is good to go. Please go ahead and get those names changed. If there's anything in this video you think I've overlooked, please send me a message, either via text, solo, do not send it back in the group text I'm about to send out, or you can message me on the Slack board, which will notify me that you have indeed watched the video and you have... Um, logged into slack to communicate it is under the football league and once again if you have problems with that please let brian james green know and he will give you a new password or a new username or whatever you need right there he is our tech guy when it comes to that all right overall i'm looking forward to a great year guys um some of you may or may not know but flash has elected to not come back into the league this year claims that you know being a being a father here in three months is t it's too much effort for him to actually play one or two days of fantasy football and take care of a child at the same time. How the rest of us are doing with more than one kid or a kid in general, I don't know. I don't know. It's too early to tell. But I did find a solid replacement for him. Some of us know him, some of us do not. Well, we're back. I apologize for that delay right there. As when you are a working boy at a school, people will tend to interrupt you. Now, as I was saying, Flash is no longer in this league, but I did find a replacement for him, as some of you know. None, in, none other than the one and only Alexander Harbour will be rejoining us in fantasy football land. I'm excited about that. We had a 30-minute convo yesterday. We were both just stoked. As some of you have been in the league for a while know, there were some tensions before. We put those aside. I'd say me and A-Harb, we're rock solid, tight, good as gold again. And I know the rest of the league is going to open him, welcome him with open arms. All right, so go go ahead, call him up, let him know, hey, welcome back. We're glad you're there. And last thing before I go, I almost failed to mention, um, in years past, we've done a waiver wire claim where if you're number one on the waivers, you had top priority of who was on and who was a free agent. Now those times are past. Interruptions galore. God, I apologize for that. But once again, as I was saying, in years past, a waiver wire, if you're a number one in waivers, you had top priority. This year, we have changed that. I found that everybody should have the chance to get the person that's on waivers. It doesn't matter if you're first in waivers or last. So we'll be moving to the fab dollars system. You will be allocated a certain amount of money to begin the season, and that's what you will use to get your waiver wire claims each week. So for instance, let's say that um, Kyle Pitts is playing. Sprains his knee is going to be out two to three weeks, and you want the backup tight end, Hayden Hurst. Well, I'm going to put in a bid for him of maybe $35. Someone else might put in a bid of $25. Well, I will get Hayden Hurst, and $35 will come out of my free agent acquisition budget, or FAB dollars. So going forward, I'll have $35 less. The person that put in the $25 bid, they will not lose any money. They will just not acquire the player they wanted. So it's really about prioritizing and budgeting your money smartly. I can't tell you who to bid on, how much to bid. I can just tell you, 
pretend that you've only got a certain amount of money to live on, how are you going to make that last for 16 consecutive weeks? All right, so look into that strategy. Excuse me, strategy. I hope you guys have a great week, and uh, let me know about the draft date. Make sure August 27th at 7 p.m. will work for everybody. Until next time, take it easy. This is your commish, Thrills Alexander, signing off.